is uh, a revival of the people. We have no special guest. We never have. No revival was ever on the calendar. We didn't say this date we're having a revival. God blew in in his presence and power on that Sunday evening service. There was no guest evangelist. We didn't have any special service. It was a regular old Sunday night service to us, but not to God. And the Spirit of the Lord blew in to change because I think we were hungry and we were receptive and we were willing to have a revival. Because revival shakes up your life. It changes everything you do. Just like Tammy said, all of a sudden, what day is this? I don't know. We just come to church. We live and we live to go to church. He my body. He touched my mind. He saved me. Straight weeks is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit of God, the dynamite of God, the life of Jesus Christ flowing among his people in a new way that we never experienced before in over 20 years of ministry, my husband and I, and over 13 years of having this church and pastoring this church. We've never experienced anything like what started 16 weeks ago on a Sunday night, March 24th. And you know, a wonderful definition of revival and outpouring of the Holy Spirit is this. Revival is vigorous life coming to the half dead. Welcome to a revival, huh? Welcome to Smith and Community Church. We're so thankful that all of you have come here tonight. It's been a wonderful 31 weeks for us. I'm telling you. And me. We were a good church. We looked good on the outside, didn't we? We had 100% tithers. Wow, good, great. Everyone was there three times a week. Hey, wouldn't you call that life? We were all trying to be nice to each other. Wouldn't you call that life? But I know the difference. Because a light dawned here. A light dawned in our lives and on our souls on March 24th, 1996 at 6, 12 p.m. I know when light came. I go and tell Pastor Steve, I say, you know what, we just heard from Wyoming, and we just heard from North Carolina, and there's some pastors, they're going to come by faith, they're going to be here by this weekend. I tell him things like that, you know what he does? He falls down on the floor, and he starts crying. That's the truth. He starts crying and saying, oh God, oh God, help them when they get here, oh God. <laughs> Don't take your Holy Spirit from us now, Lord. Help us to help them because we feel, we feel insignificant and we feel inadequate. But we have been witnessing the power of God to come and save and heal. And this is so real. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. God says, wake up. Wake up. The night is almost over. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, God, God, wake us up. Pour your spirit out. Pour your spirit out. Pour it out. Pour it out now. Hey, come. We need it. We need your Holy Spirit. We're a needy people. Your church is needy. Wake us up. Wake your, wake your church up. Your church is asleep. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up.
This is going worldwide. It's just the beginning. We're barely even starting. We are being set up to touch the world. I'm telling you, this little old us. He's going to have a bride. And this bride is 100% interested only in Jesus Christ. Smithton, Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> you said to me, if revival can break out in Smithton, Missouri, it can break out anywhere. Oh, Kansas City, if you only knew it was coming your way. You know, for all the people that thought you were crazy and nuts to quit uh, at, at a town, a place where God was, uh, they don't see ahead what the Spirit of God has in mind, see, because they wanted to put you in a box. They wanted to just leave you in Smithton and just say, well, that's them and we're here. But God said, I moved you because I didn't want them putting you in a box because I'm going to do this in every city in America, you see. to have a visitation from God. We must have a visitation from God and you must set your determination that life is not worth living if God does not visit his people in this generation. Fight their 